What's up YouTube and David and welcome to Out of Box Collector where we review and unbox different kinds of collectibles. Today, I have the band Presto King of Artists, the Monkey D. Luffy from the movie One Piece Stampede. So this is my first King of Artists line from Band Presto. I really don't know what to expect from it. I also haven't seen the movie yet. So let's unbox the figure. So this is the figure. This is the King of Artists, uh, Monkey D. Luffy from the One Piece Stampede movie. Uh, this is my second One Piece um, figure, but I haven't opened my first one actually. So this is the other side, this is the back. So the art looks pretty good. So I really couldn't see his pose uh, just based on the box. So it's pretty interesting on what it would look like. So anyway, this is the bottom. It has three security seals and the top also has three security seals. So let's open the figure. So I also I'm also not sure what the scale of this figure will be. So So we have the box. And uh, let's zoom out a little bit. Okay, it's a little it's a bit big. This is what we get. Oops, okay, we have two bags. So this first one has his legs and a stand. And the second one has his torso, head, and arm. And it's a pretty big base. So let's stop, open the figure, the plastic. Let's take out the contents. This is the base. Arm. This is his left arm. And this is his torso. And okay, so far the figure looks good. The details are very nice. It's a very detailed figure so far. Open the second bag. Uh, this is his feet. Okay, it's really detailed. And this is the stand to put on the base. This is what we get out of the box. So let's put them all together. So let's start with the legs and his torso. So that you just need to attach it. So there's a little bit of assembly required here, but nothing too difficult. Okay, oh, this is a nice pose actually. Very dynamic, this is a very dynamic pose. And his arm, just need to slide it here. Okay, it slides pretty easy. And uh, this is what he looks like so far. And let's see how he attaches on the stand. Okay, so this part goes into his in his back pocket. And then I assume that the stand just pops inside here. Okay, it pops in like this. Okay, so this is a pretty cool looking figure. This is a very dynamic uh, pose by Luffy. It's a pretty well made figure. So uh, let me show you, uh, let me quickly show you what it looks like. This is the back, this is the front, and this is pretty much what he looked like when he's standing up. So let's take a closer look at the figure. 
So this is the figure. The figure looks really nice actually. At first glance, you'll really see his dynamic pose. That's the first thing that you'll notice. Um, he looks like as if he's about to, to, to give a powerful attack on someone. So he's in a jumping pose, about to attack. And it looks really good. Let's take a look, a closer look at the head. So this is the head. His face looks good. Uh, he's in an angry expression in, as if he's about to attack someone. It's really well made. Uh, the scalp of his hair is well done. The paint on his face is really good. So the his clothes, the texture on his clothes looks really nice. Uh, on, and also in his body, his scar, you can really see there. It's, uh, it's really well made. This is his hand, which is also sculpted very well. Um, this is his hat on his back. And it looks absolutely great. Look at that detail. Look at those. This is his other hand. Look at, you can even see his veins. So it's really well sculpted. I'm really loving this figure. Okay, this is his back, his, uh, the cloth on his waist. So it looks like it's flowing in midair, which, uh, which is very appropriate because he's actually in a jumping pose. So this is his shorts. It's also very well textured. And this is his foot and his slippers. So it really looks very nice, even the texture underneath the foot, the slippers. They actually put the details into it. It's, it looks like a real foot actually. So it's really well made. So this is the other foot. And of course, it still has that texture. So it will look like this when you pose it or put it in the wall. It, I think it looks best on this angle, but you can also put it like this so you can see his other hand so it's really up to you on how you'll pose it so before i forget uh the figure stands at around um 10 and a half inches from the base to the top of his hand but if you just want to know up, up to here it's around 10 inches so yeah it's around 10 and a half inches tall so it's a it's a pretty big figure and it really stands out on the shelf. If you're a fan of him, you, you have to check this one out. All in all, I'm very happy with this figure. Uh, if you're a fan of One Piece and you really like uh, Monkey D. Luffy or Luffy, I highly recommend this figure. The details, the paint job, and the sculpt of this figure is amazing. I really love the dynamic pose that he's in. It has this certain tenacity in it. And uh, yeah, I don't have a lot of One Piece uh, figures. I only have two actually. So this is my second one and I really love it so far. And I prob will probably get more of this kind of figures because I'm really loving the details in it. So what do you think of this figure? Let me know what comment section below. Please subscribe if you haven't yet. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That's pretty much it for me. Thank you very much for watching and remember, unbox your toys!